Now we're going to look at a modified toe hold off of an omoplata when, when my opponent tries to omoplata me. Um, I saw this a long time ago. I want to say I saw Josh Barnett do it. Uh, I don't know what fight against two, but in my mind that's who did it and that's who I, uh, who I say I saw do it. Now, I've seen a lot of people do it. This isn't a secret, but a lot of people haven't seen it and you can catch some people off guard. Most of the time, when, they try, when you try to do this toe hold, it's gonna make them transition. So if somebody is really, really good with omoplatus, they're putting a lot of pressure on you, and you can get the first stages of defense. You get your posture back, you get your feet planted on the floor, but you just can't get your arm back. This is a great way to institute some transitions or make them angry. I'm here in close guard, or I'm in guard with, with Mike, and he enters in for his omoplata. Whatever entry, it really doesn't matter. Uh, again, we need to protect on our thigh, put our foot on the floor, and I start to make some space. Now you can see that he's triangled, he's trying to put some space down. It's very common, people will try to catch underneath the shoulder. You can't let that happen, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the blade of the foot up here closer to the toes. The closer to the toes, the more leverage you're gonna have. And you're gonna lift it lightly. When you lift it, you're gonna duck your head under it and you want your head to be as close to the ankle as possible. When that happens, you're gonna push it down with the toes, but remember, you need a good counter pressure looking up. If you allow your head to come down, you're just gonna get stuck to the floor and you're gonna get um, applauded. Don't allow it to happen trying something like this, okay? Good posture first, position before submission. I'm keeping good pressure. And look at that foot dangling. You'll see this a lot. Boom, I grab it. A lot of people will push it away. I like to do that too. But this is a great way to bring it in and push it down. And I'm looking up. You can see that I'm putting good pressure. He enters in. Oh my goodness. I'm controlling on the inside of my thigh. Putting pressure back, nice and heavy. Grabbing those toes, head up, pushing down. And remember that the head is close to the ankle. If you get close to the knee, you won't have the leverage, you'll push down on your own head. You wanna be up close to the joint, looking down. Uh-oh, Mike pushes in, I put pressure back, and I'm scooping the, the toes, right? This is the best angle. Head under, looking up, pushing down with the toes. Low percentage, but really good to make your opponent move. A lot of times they'll untriangle their legs, they'll kick their legs away, and in that transition when they're kicking their legs away, sometimes you can get your arm out, you can get your front roll, all of those other things that you like.